And what are some of the biggest mistakes we're making when it comes to our gut? Like, what are the things that I think you you would say that we're just so unaware of mm -hmm. or unsure about that are causing gut challenges? I think the interesting thing about gut issues is that when you figure out that you have something you're concerned about yeah. and you start talking to your friend or someone, you realize everyone has it, yeah. but no one talks about it, right. right? It's not like one of those things that people share very openly, right? but you start recognizing, wow, everyone has digestive issues. Everyone's having some sort of inflammation. Everyone's having this kind of thing. So what are some of the habits, traits that you think have kind of become widespread that is actually taking us down this road that maybe we're just not aware of enough? What I'm always telling my patients is just because something's common doesn't necessarily mean it's normal. Just because it's your everyday doesn't mean you should settle for it. And I really can't tell you how many times when I'm talking to somebody online and we're going through the systems of their body and they have these aha moments of, whoa, I thought that was just me. I thought that was just my lot in life because I have it every day. But I think they need to, we as a human race need to take inventory and kind of get in our bodies. I know that you teach about this so eloquently of just being aware and mindful of how our body works because it may be your everyday, but it doesn't mean it should be normalized. So, I mean, we could talk about digestion and you're right, people want, don't want to talk about it. It's very normal for me to talk about poop at my office. It's like, and then I look across the telehealth, across the, the internet and I realize it's not as normal as I think it is. Right? <laughs> I see their partner like, uh, we've never talked about this before, you know. Uh, we get real, real fast, but it's important because it's a window into probably lots of other things in your body. But it's normal to have one to two, we say, snakes a day as far as bowel movements are concerned on the Bristol chart. Many people go two, three days without a normal bowel movement or it's always loose or always really strained and like pebbles. That's not normal. Your bowel movements are a window into your overall health. So we start there, but then we look at energy levels throughout your day? Do you need lots of you know, sugar and caffeine to get through the day? That's not normal, but that's a lot of people's every day, certainly. Uh, do you have ravenous cravings of food? Do you have trouble losing weight? Do you have hair loss? Do you have skin problems? These are all, like we call in functional medicine, these are like check engine lights. Check engine lights on, but why? The body's telling us something. We have to go upstream or get to the root cause of why you have the problem in the first place. Yeah, and I think for a lot of people it becomes hard because I found for a long time as well that as I became more aware of these things yeah. and as I sought after help, it was really difficult to find good personalized advice because you'll see everyone say, well, you have to drink this one thing. Mm -hmm. You have to do this one thing, yeah. right? It becomes this fad and some things help and some things don't and you don't know how they're all interconnected. And I feel like people get quite stuck. And that's why I love books like yours and podcasts like yours, because people can kind of follow along and go, okay, I'm dealing with this challenge. Mm 